So let's say I want to find the stationary points of a curve defined by these two parametric equations. We have this x equals t and y equals t squared minus t. First thing to do then is to find dy by dx. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to find dx by dt and dy by dt. So if I differentiate x with respect to t, I'm just going to get 1. And if I differentiate y with respect to t, then I get 2t minus 1. So these are the two derivatives that I need to find dy by dx. dy by dx is dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. So dy by dt is the 2t minus 1. And I'm multiplying that by 1 over the dx by dt, so 1 over 1, which is just 1, so I just get 2t minus 1. So this is the derivative. Okay. Now, I need to determine uh, where there are stationary points. So stationary points occur when dy by dx is equal to 0. Now, that would imply that 2t minus 1 would have to be 0 for this. Now, 2t minus 1 is going to be 0 when t is equal to 1 half. Okay, so add 1 to both sides and divide both sides by 2. So that tells me when the stationary point occurs. And so I can substitute t equals a half into x and y in order to find the coordinates of that stationary point. So x, when t is a half, is equal to, well, just t, so that's one half. And y, when t is a half, is equal to one half squared minus one half. Now, one half squared is a quarter. Take away a half is minus a quarter. And so, the stationary point occurs at one half minus one quarter. Okay, so the steps that we went through to determine the stationary points, we found dy by dx by finding dx by dt and dy by dt, and using this formula. To find the stationary points, you need to put the derivative equal to 0, and so we solved 2t minus 1 is 0 to find t as a half, and then substituted that back into the original two equations to get my coordinates.